Hello there, it's William Robson here with Nuke for 3D Idiots. I shouldn't really say that because somebody bound to take it to heart. Um, now, what I'm going to do is show you how to add a basic comp. So let's learn how to make a basic comp. Not an advanced comp, but a basic one. Um, and bring things together. Now, if you excuse me just one second while I organise my other screen. We're going to be adding a number of passes together that have been re-rendered out. If you're interested in the passes I'm using um, and how I render them out, it's all done in V-Ray because my day job is working as an external contractor for Chaos Group. In other words, I work at home, not there, you know, and I'm technically freelance. So, right. Now, I'm going to pick a number of passes here that I need. First of all, um, I need the lighting pass, right? Now, the lighting pass for this scene looks like that, okay? We're going to need a GI pass as well. So, I need to find where my GI pass is. And that one will look like this. That's the GI, okay? I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this. Um, in fact, I will just make this like that. Now, the next thing we need is reflect, reflect, reflection and refraction. Try seeing that fast, all right? So, we've got those two there. That's refraction. That's reflection. Now... We have some spectra in the scene, not a lot, but we'll need it. So we'd have to have that one. Now, I'm pretty sure there's no self-illumination in. No, there's not. So in this case, we don't need that. Okay. Now, there's no subsurface, so I don't need to add that. Um, if I had an, an ambient occlusion pass, I would add it in there. Okay. If I had any atmosphere, I would add it in there. All right. Now, let's just work with what we have, a very simple comp here. So... M for Emerge node. We want the lighting and the global illumination. Okay. I'll just switch those round by selecting a node and going Shift X. But at the moment, this is set as over. It shouldn't be. It should be plus. Okay. Now that gives us our first merge. Let's try to find the words there. Now we can do the same thing with the next one. Right. So we've got this here. And then we bring this into here, okay? Again, select the node Shift X to turn it the other way around, switch the inputs, and plus, all right? Now we have our reflection on. So if I, I can create this, just make it a little bit bigger now, because uh, right now it's uh, you can't really see too much. So I, I apologize if you find it a little bit um, confusing, but it's just the way it is. Right, so we add now our refraction layer, all right, so we'll view this one and add this plus. So that's the light coming in through the window. Now the specular, exactly the same. B at the top, A to our layer that we're using. At the moment, looks all wrong because we need to go plus. Each node is adding on the next. So at this point, if I bring in the color, RGB color pass over here, right? We've, that's there, now the RGB color. We've recreated it on here, right? So if I disable any one of these, just highlight a node and just press D, you can see how it changes it, right? And this one over here is the main render. This opens a lot of stuff up. Now in this case, let's assume that we thought that this global illumination, which looks like this, was maybe a wee bit bright or the wrong shade. We just press G and stick a grade node in the middle, right? Now, what I can do is I'll just make sure I'm viewing the whole tree. Double click on grid, and we can see, oh, let's just darken it down a bit so we could have just the direct light, or we could lighten it, or we could darken a little bit and then maybe change the color so we can make it more yellow. We could bring a bit more blue like that. So let's just see what we can do with it. That's a bit too angry. Or maybe just slightly more orange. I'll add a bit more. So we can change that. Now, our refraction channel, it's quite muted on the windows. So we could take this here, and while I'm just looking at this, I could tighten these up a bit by brightening that and crushing these, which would give us this effect here. It's subtle. But you can see that now we have a lot more and we could feed it back if we need to. Right? Now the refraction from the windows, maybe we think that that is way too much. We could change the gain on that and just turn it down a bit. 
right? So make it brighter, we can turn it down, and we can see a bit of a reflection there, okay? Now the specular, which is here, it's quite bright. Maybe we want to change the color of it. Great, add another grade node, all right? And then just, I don't know, add a little bit of a bluey green tinge on it like that and see what that looks like. Now I may want to turn the reflect re reflection one off for the moment. And let's look at what happens here. So we have our specular. Now I press D to turn it on and off. It's not doing a lot. It's it's visible, but only just, if you know what I mean. Now the reflect refraction, on the other hand, is very, very visible. Global illumination, yeah, that's massively visible. And of course, we've got a lightning up here, which we added nothing to. So let's just hit G, stick a grid in here somewhere, and see what we can do with this. So maybe you think, oh, there's a, it's a bit yellow, um maybe i want to bring a saturation node this is a bit like de saturating on the desaturating with a hue saturation node in photoshop so in this case boom no saturation it's all black and white now right this is great because if we look at the bottom there's now no yellow coming from that light at all right now that means we could do all sorts with this and we could see it wonder what it was like if we lived on krypton with a red sun well that's what it would look like you know Maybe you want to see what like with a bit more blue. We would never go that far with it. Never, never, never. It's you make it very, very subtle. It's the best way with direct lights. So in this case, we could that's quite nice, it's quite muted. Maybe bring it up a little bit. So yeah. So we have that there, and we could take both of these and just hit D to turn them both up at the same time. We've got a, a subtle effect. Okay? It's as simple as that. And that's your basic comp. Now, if I was doing a full basic um what you would have is your lighting in fact i'm going to nick some nodes from the other screen a basic comp i'm doing for work i can't show you the comp because um that would be breaking an nda what i can do however is just copy the shuffle nodes which we covered in the, the, the last video and put them over here right so ba basing things just on these nodes here right and we'll assume these are the passes and I'm going to show you the maths behind it. In fact, a lot of places that I've worked, um, the comp lead will set up a script and everybody will follow the script. Okay, so the new script, everybody will be using the same script. So we'd have those there. And every single one of these, with the exception of the ambient occlusion, all right, which we'll put that way, it would be the plus mode. So I just hit this, go M, like that, switch the things. Do it there, ba boom. Right, then we just go up here, go plus. Now, the best thing about this now is we can just go control C, and we go V, 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 control V, control V. Make a load of these bloody things, right? Go B, A, B, A. And I know this is probably giving any professional compass an absolute heart attack with me being this sloppy, but you know, it's a way to get over it. <laughs> I can only say because I know some compass very well. Now, I should point out, I don't consider myself a compositor, okay? I'm just a 3D guy that's been around the houses a bit. So, this is a way where you can seriously save yourself a lot of time, right? So, these are all plus nodes. The next one, right? right if I go up, done, and we bring up, in fact, I don't even need to do that. Let's merge. But this one would be a multiply, okay? Now, remember, we'll get no result off this because we have no information. This is just to show you how a comp would go together. A more advanced version of the basic one. It's like basic plus, if that makes any sense. And we'd have them like that. Boom, 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 boom. And that chain there, in most cases, would do the job. And that's what you're looking at. I'll leave it on the screen while I'm talking so that you can see uh, the basic flow. Now for an advanced comp, all of these, each individual one of these, or most of them, um, especially lighting, GI, reflection, refraction, um, they can all be split further. And you would have, uh, say, raw GI, and that would be multiplied by the diffuse filter. Okay, but we're gonna get into that in another video, because uh, it'll make it a bit easier if you've got a bit of experience with some of this. So hopefully that showed you how to do a basic composite. Again, 
you've enjoyed the video, my name is William Robson. Please subscribe. Um, let people know these bloody things exist. Otherwise, it's all one massive big waste of my time. Anyway, thank you very much. Bye-bye.